All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they the true children of Israel spoken of in the Bible and that the so-called white man is known as Esau or Edom in the Bible. We want to give all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS, and blessing to the elect and the brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. Yeah, the Most High, the one who, you know, the Most High God or God, he said he have nourished and brought up children. Those children that he's speaking of is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, known as the Israelites. All right, go ahead. And they have rebelled against me. Yeah, they have rebelled against me. How did um, we as a nation, so to speak, rebel against the Most High? We stop uh, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. All right, we start following after the other nations. We start keeping their customs and worshiping their gods, and that's how we re rebelled against our God. All right? Go ahead. The Oxnoff is owner in... The ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib. Yeah, yeah. When you, you have an animal or a pet, they know who they belong to. All right, go ahead. But Israel doeth, doeth not know. But Israel doeth not know. Our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they don't know who they belong to. They walk around in this society acting like they only belong to the so-called white man. I say only because, yes, we are in, in so-called slavery, all right, but you're still supposed to be worshiping the Most High, man. You go to church every Sunday with your Bible, or you reading in your Bible Sunday morning, Monday morning, whatever, you know what I'm saying, them law sections and commandments that you're reading within there, you're supposed to keep to your best ability. All right, it ain't no, oh, we, we're under grace so we can eat pork, or we're under grace so we can um, um, commit adultery. Because if, if grace is a purpose of sinning, and I would say if grace is the excuse for sinning, then we all should uh, be able to become murderers too, man. My people do if not consider. Yeah, our people do if not consider. We out here now. All right, it's Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here now, but they don't consider. they like, I went to church. I got my word for the day, man. We out here giving the truth, man. Through the power of your how about Shimia was shot. You know, your pastor, you go to church, they're gonna lie to you. Alright? They gonna tell you you got a blessing coming because you didn't gave them $50 in tights. They gonna tell you that the Lord's gonna triple your money. Ah, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers. Yep, yep. Uh, 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 what it say? Lay with, huh? Lay with iniquity. Read it again. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, mm -hmm. a seed of evildoers, yep. children that are corruptors. Yep, it said a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, because our people don't even take into consideration of each other, man. Are right, we all minorities? But we all against each other. And we all so uh, think the so-called white man is God, man. If we um you can see the right quick. If we pull this out, all right, people ask us and say, why y'all got horns on Jesus? Because they think that Jesus is white. Alright? They and which this is just what they call iconoclasm. They made him out to be white. So you would think that white people are superior to you no matter what yes this is their society but it matters what comes after this man because america's on its way out of here all right you're not going to be able to, to to enjoy long strolls in the park man walking over the bridge all right getting your check and, and paying your little bills and spending your money on whatever else going to the club every weekend Damn. It's gonna, it's gonna come a time where 
that check that you once used to get, you ain't gonna get no more. Them food stamps you used to have, you're not gonna get no more. Them bills that you used to paying is gonna get out, out of control because you ain't gonna have no job. But like you said, our, our people don't even consider, man. They say this, they think that this right here is life. You know what I'm saying? You go to work, you pay your bills, you go to the club, or you go to the movies, go out to eat, all right, and you go to church and you save, man. That's not the case. It said that our people are a rebellious people. Okay. Yeah, I want to get into that word rebel. You get into the blue letter version, but I, uh, I had to go into etymology.com to really get to the root word of it. But the, uh, the word rebel is uh, kawar. It means to rebel, to be stubborn, be rebellious, be, uh, re be refractory, um, to be stubborn, stubborn rebel. Uh, but when you go to etymology.com, the word rebel as a verb, okay, to be rebellious will be considered a verb. You know, uh, a rebellious nation is an adjective, all right? But as a verb, uh, it means to revolt. Um, but it really goes back to uh, the word rebel as a noun. If you're a rebel, it says a person who makes war on his on his country for political motives you know um meaning supporter of the american cause and war and the war of independence is since from uh from a sense supporter of the southern cause i want to go to, to the adjective is more uh clear the adjective to the word rebel is uh re-meaning back and it goes back to balar means wage war so to be a rebel is basically a waging war against whatever you're against. So the point is the people that's being rebellious to the Bible is the people that are actually waging war against the scriptures. Just like the Bible talks about the, the same sex marriage, for you to fight against that, to wage a war against that, that's being rebellious. If we tell you don't eat certain foods and then you come out against that and, and to go to war spiritually is going to war within the scriptures. To say you bring out a scripture or you bring out a false claim and say you can't do that. That's waging a war. Okay? There's a difference between people that just don't do it and they got rebellious. A lot of Jake are rebellious. You tell them not to eat pork or have a right diet, they'll, they'll go back and forth with you. They'll, they'll uh, um, have an argument, which is basically a verbal war. Okay? And, and, and don't want to and don't want to um, conceive. Okay? And the main um, reason why I wanted to bring up rebellious is waging war. It's talking about like Azar, Polite, Nate, Satan. They're a, they're a rebellious nation, man, because they're ra they're waging an all-out war against the Bible, man. Okay. The, the um the war on Israel, you know, so to speak. Go ahead. They have forsaken the Lord. Yep, they have forsaken the Lord. Go ahead. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going all. Uh, they are going away backward. Yep, they are going away backwards because our, our people don't know whether they're coming or going. They say, um, oh, uh, uh, can you get uh, Matthew's? I think it, I believe it's fifteen and eight. I believe it's fifteen. And eight. They sit here and, and they talk about God and and love and this love. and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the end of the day, they don't follow his words. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth mm -hmm. and honor me with their lips. Yeah, people say, oh, I love God. Uh, I'm a Christian. I go to church every Sunday. I read the Bible all the time. All right? That's you giving the most high reverence with your mouth, man. All right, go ahead. But the heart is far from me. But they heart, which it goes back to your mind, man, is far from the Most High. With your mind, play out your actions. All right, what you gonna do? What you wanna do? So, so you talk this, this, this Christian walk, so to speak. But at the end of the day, you, you a wicked person, man. You doing what you wanna do, and you, and you using grace as an excuse to, to sin. Because you can't say, uh, uh, 
that you love the most high, all right, but you, you're not doing what he said do, man. It tells you that in John. If you love me, keep my commandments. In the New Testament, it is say if you love me, keep my commandments. If you believe in grace that you can do what you want to do and you can sin sometimes, it's that simple. If you claim you love the most high, then keep his commandments. Why? Because keeping his commandments is showing that love, man. You got people walking around, don't even know the biblical definition of love. Y'all want to go of what the so-called white man said, man. Which it which it plays a part, which it, uh it plays a part in waging that war. You trying to I mean the love the love that, that we're taught in, in the general state, it is, but that same that feeling that you are supposed to have, you're supposed to direct that towards something. You know what I'm saying? You say love. Matter of fact, because we got into it with a, a, a woman a, a long time ago, but once you go into the word love, get the Greek, okay, which is which is the agape, of course, right? Um, but she she was right. She said love means agape, love is compassion, but it's it's toward a certain thing. That's what people get mixed up. So let's get the actual word love, the Greek word, and. See here. Like we go to uh, John chapter 14, verse 23. It says, uh, Yahweh Shai or Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my keep my words, and my and my father will love him, and we and we will come unto him and make uh make our bowl with him. Okay? So the word love. It goes back to the same word. It's, it's uh, actually I got pale, okay. I got uh, I got pale. Uh, it says a person to welcome, to entertain, to be fond of, to uh, love dearly of things, to to be well pleased, to be uh, content, content, uh, to be content at uh, contented at or with a thing. But well, that's not the um, proper definition. I want I want this straight. That's I got pale. I want the uh, actual full agape okay that was that was john john 14 and 23 i want something else uh okay so let's go to john 15 and 17. uh these things i command you that ye love one another that's real good right there okay and it gives it gives the same definition to welcome to entertain to be fond of, to, uh, to love dearly. So let's get, we all have to, we got to go back to uh, the actual sense of it, just to, so we can be accurate. And the scripture says, uh, that's John, what's, John uh, 5 and, not John 5 and 10, is it 2 or 10 or 5 and 10? 14 or 16. No, no, I'm talking about 1st uh, John. Oh, uh, yeah, 2 and uh, 2 and 10. 2 and 10. 1st John, we're going to go to 1st John 2 and 10, just to be correct. I don't wanna, you know, I'm already butchering it, so I gotta get it right, you know? So lock it for that. Uh, Cause in the, in the John, that word uh, love in that John is, is agape, okay? It's affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, uh, brotherly love, love feast. So, that is that is uh, what people sense the affection, goodwill. Okay, when it says love one another, that's a good point. It means <coughs> entertain or welcome in. Okay, to deal with. Okay, but when you when the Most High says love is basically keeping the commandments, that love that y'all think applies to other people, which means entertain. When it comes to the scriptures, that's what you're supposed to have an affection with. Okay, you supposed to you supposed to treat the scripture as your woman, so to speak. You know, the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? You're supposed to love the fact that you're not supposed to eat pork. You're supposed to love the fact that you're not supposed to lay with the same sex. You're supposed to love the fact that you're supposed to uh, keep the land Sabbath. You're supposed to love the fact that you got to uh, 
keep the high holy days, okay? The dietary laws, um, the money laws, okay? Moral things, the, the tithe, the tithing. All these things are the law, statutes, and commandments. You're supposed to love that and have an affection toward that, okay? You're supposed to have brotherly love with that, okay? I mean, you're supposed to treat other people like that with a passion, man. You're supposed to love to do that, man, okay? Same way you love a woman or you got your woman, and it'd be hard to, you know, it'd be hard to believe something is not true. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas get bugged up on their women, and it'd be hard to believe that they did something, you know what I'm saying, that you don't want them to do. Same thing with the scriptures, man. That's why you're not supposed to, you shouldn't be easily moved because you're in love with the law, love with the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? Nobody could just roll up on you and say, eat pork, and I'll show you a verse and twist it up. They'll twist it up on you and, and bring it so convincing that it make it seem true. If you love the law, statutes, and commandments that much, you're not going to break them, man. Okay? Just like if you love your woman and they pass a law that you can go upside her head anytime you want to, you know what I'm saying? Are you going to do it? You know? No, you're going to treat it. You're going to treat it right, man. So, just with the same sense that y'all believe that you can break the laws, okay? That you can, that you can, you know what I'm saying? Eat pork. Why would you if you love the law, statutes, and commandments? Okay, even though the Most High gave you a grace. You know, why would you do that? If you love the law, statutes, and commandments, and once again, you wouldn't. People don't have a, a, a love for the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible. Y'all have love for the Lord giving you uh, worldly benefits, and y'all have love because y'all want to be saved. But it don't work like that, okay? Having that love, that true love of the Bible and the law, statutes, and commandments, that comes along with getting saved, okay? Not saying, oh, I want to get saved so bad, so I'm going to act like I love who I particularly want to love, okay? Because y'all don't love everybody. You'll say all kind of things, call people pathetic and you're a scumbag and this and that, but you won't say you hate a person, but you'll disrespect them verbally and, and, and discredit them and demonize their character, and it, it's worse than actually saying you hate a person, man, okay? Because you'll cause the world to look at a person in a whole different light, but then act like you love everybody, like Baloo, okay? Baloo will get on, on YouTube and, and, and uh, try his best to demonize the character of, of GMS. But that's that's hate. Even though he never came out and said he hate him, hate us, but you, the things you're doing is, is, is straight hate, man. You know? Straight hate, you ain't going to acknowledge the good things that, that we do. In your opinion, you just acknowledge the bad in, in your opinion. You know, you ain't you ain't no hundred person, okay? But you you put on the front like you love everybody, okay? Well, we gonna tell you straight up who we love and who we hate, okay? Cause everybody hates something, and everybody loves something. That's a, in order to love something, you gotta hate the other man, okay? You gotta have a balance to certain things, man. Everything has not certain things, everything, okay? Go ahead. I should read eight over. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 15 and 8. This people, it's like, this people draw if nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but in their heart, but it's like, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me. Uh, yeah, in vain they do worship him like the brother was just talking about. Y'all do it because y'all want that salvation, all right? But if you're not doing it the correct way, then you won't get that salvation. Therefore, you are doing it in vain. Because you can't just say, I want to get saved, I'm going to read the Bible, all right? And then you out doing all kind of stuff against the Bible, contrary to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? That's you talking that talk, but not walking the walk, man. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Yeah, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men, and that go into false prophets. All right, or people like the brother saying, trying to twist up words and everything, man. Because you have to have a foundation, or else anybody can just come up to you and convince you on something, man. You know, like somebody, if, if somebody come up to us like, man, y'all should really check this out. This is a good thing. You know, we we'll take it into consideration. But if it don't uh, comply with the scriptures, then we gotta throw it out, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to filter everything through the scriptures because 
this this is set in stone. This is truth. All right. This is truth. It's not just some words put together and made stuff sound good, man. And that's where people get messed up in the head. And they think that this is just a book. And you live according to the book how you want to. You can pick and choose what you want to keep in the book.